My name is Kyle Chapin. I live in London. I'm uh, American. I moved here when I was 18. Right now, professionally, I work at um, Vivian Westwood. I'm the knitwear and jersey designer there. To be honest, I think it is it is a little bit more frequent than what um, people normally perceive. I think that a lot of them don't do hand hand manipulation with knitwear as much anymore. I think most of it is moving towards computer and um, electronic knitting. And I think that's where people mostly focus their attention on now. But in the end, it kind of feels more lifeless. Like when you look at something that someone has handmade, there's mistakes, there's holes, there's this, there's that, and like it doesn't, it, but it works. And it's cool and it feels like you're holding something that someone told something with. But then when you see a sweater in a shop, you're like, yeah, of course, it's just a sweater in a shop. When I'm on my own, it's either I, I, I have ADHD, so I have to do something with my hands. And so I really like to crochet while I'm watching movies, while I'm talking, while I'm doing anything. I mean, grandma always jokes that I don't sit, I don't rest because I'm always crocheting. So sometimes it's it just begins as something that I do to fiddle with my hands and then it grows. Like I have this carpet that I can show you that I started in lockdown just to fiddle with my hands and now it's this like massive carpet. Or other times I'll try to have this like planned intarsia, which is a certain kind of stitch that you can do. Uh, but they do feel very different to me. One feels very planned and meticulously gone about with like research and trying to figure out color schemes and I'll dye my yarns and I'll be like, I want it to be exactly this color and this thing. And then the other one is like, I just picked up this yarn and I just found this and then this is what happened. I mean, mostly I think that all of my stuff is either really, really personal and has to do with my family or my background or it's faces. I do a ton of faces in your life. When I was in my final year at school, I did my internship at Westwood and uh, the knitwear, the head of knitwear asked me to come in to make a hen knit jumper with Vivian. And I mean, the project that I did for it was one, it was, I made like, I think in the end, four sweaters, all with the same technique and stitch, but they were so detailed and it was such small thread. It took me a month to, to make one, but I remember her even in the show that she, like the show where she presented the sweater she mentioned the knitter who created it by hand and how beautiful she's like the most beautiful sweater in the world mm -hmm. and you're like fuck like this woman who is Vivian fucking Westwood is calling the sweater that we made together the most beautiful sweater in the world and I remember just like it was one of those moments where I'm like oh this I feel like I found a really cozy nook I find that in the industry, everything is quick and fast and needs to produce now and last week. And what I like about the process of knitting is I find it therapeutic because this one piece that you will spend 200 hours on, and so you grow this weird attachment to, you'll, you'll look at it and you remember the music that you listen to, you remember the movies that you watch, you remember the feeling of what you had while you were making it, because it took such a long period of your life. I really like that, they're like little time workers.